big boy. Oh, that's you. Let me hash him. Get him. Escape from Tarkov is a hardcore looter shooter experience. You can literally fucking kneecap someone in this game. I, I, Look at that little pussy's knee give out. I, Maybe you want to barrel stuff somebody. How about a tasty little headshot? Okay, I'm pushing back to you guys. He's dead. Good He's dead. How'd that taste, pussy? On top of killing, you can stuff your bag full of schmeckles. Okay, that's what I heard. Oh! What is this raid, bro? You kinda DC? What is this? What? What? Hey, James, can you come with James, yeah, I'm- What? <laughs> After you've murdered and gotten all your loot, it's time to exfil, baby. No, it was a Veritas pick. And, uh... <gasps> yep, he's in there. Okay. Yep, we're all dead. Or get killed by some rat fucking extract camper. In order to survive Escape from Tarkov patch 12.9, you're gonna need to squat up, loot up, and have that one intangible thing. Put all of these things together with a little bit of luck, and you just might escape from Tarkov. Patch 12.9. Hey there, thanks for sitting through that minute and a half of uh, pure, unadulterated autism, and uh, welcome to my Escape from Tarkov video. Now, you might have heard of Escape from Tarkov from several different sources. Perhaps you saw a streamer man play it. Perhaps this streamer man, that streamer man, or maybe even the streamer man. As of February 11th, when I'm recording this, Escape from Tarkov just wiped uh, about a month ago. And you might be asking yourself, what, what is a wipe? Well, a wipe is when everyone's account gets reset and we all have a reason to play the game again. See, Tarkov's real simple. We go on raids, I bring my stuff, you bring your stuff, and I want your stuff. So, we battle it out and kill each other, winner takes their stuff. This is pretty much the gameplay loop, looting, killing, shooting, yada yada yada. After a while, you just have so much loot, you don't really care when you die anymore, and the game gets a little boring. Because Tarkov is only fun if I get to fuck you over. See, if I kill you late and wipe, you just go back to your stash and pick out a new loadout, but if I kill you early and wipe when you have nothing, then you can't go back and pick out anything. Your life just fucking sucks. Sure, seeing my ruble count go up is uh, pretty satisfying, but getting to kill someone, take all their stuff, and know that I caused them actual considerable pain, that feels really good. So, our Russian overlords have decided that every five to six months, they'll wipe the game, completely reset it, and we'll all start having fun again. So you're interested in playing Tarkov. You're thinking, hey, well, what's the game played like? I've seen a couple clips like this. I hate to break it to you, though. That's not real Tarkov. This is real Tarkov. He's in the kitchen. Yeah, did you like how dirty that was? Let me break it down for you. In the holy scripture of Tarkov. There are three tenets to a gunfight. The first being bad teammates. If you look closely, you can see him hiding in the kitchen like a little rat fuck as I go and shit on his teammate. The second tenet being piss poor aim. Look at my sloppy pistol work, but more importantly, look at this dickhead who can't hit shit like at all. Seriously, what were you doing? Were you just hiding like a little baby as I killed your friend? God bless you, little rat boy. The third and final tenet of a Tarkov gunfight is bad communications. Coming up the outside stairwell. That's bad. Not him. Kill him. Uh, there's enemies. Body. They're enemies. That's why just I'm saying kill. they killed me in just, the back. I was on the staircase. Just kill them. They killed me. Listen to the sweet chaos. Me. Up top, up top. I'm up top. I'm at the, I'm at the, I'm at the, I'm at the, oh, God. That's out the back. 
I'm gonna like a pack of wild chickens. Is anyone in the hall? Is anyone? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in. You shut the door. You shut the door. Yeah. I'm yeah, running yeah, yeah. in. Don't kill me, Aaron. I don't know if I killed. Up top. Up top. I'm up top. The I'm at the. I'm at the That's why I'm just saying kill. they killed me in just, the back. I was on the staircase. Just kill them. They all. killed me. These are the three pillar tenets of Tarkov, but be warned, there is something that lurks in the shadows. A creature so foul. It could destabilize the entirety of Tarkov. Do you not know East from West? Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. I hear something. The most disgusting vermin in all of Tarkov. A hatchet runner. Literal human loot sucking vacuums. Cockroaches designed to steal every last piece of loot before you even get to the spot. When it comes to these hatchet running scum, there is only one cure. Hot fucking lead. Hey, dog, 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 dog. Shit. And it smells like, I don't know, death. That's awful. Lord mm -hmm. have mercy. Lord have mercy. I mean, if it smelled like it was alive, that'd be scarier. No, but... it literally <laughs> smells like if somebody were walking this, like my son would literally, like, be comatose. I'm I saying I you die. didn't flush? No. Well, I mean, I can't flush my pants, but what I'm saying <laughs> is. That... <laughs> you shit your pants. <laughs> I almost did. You will have hands down. The dumbest conversations of your life while waiting for a Tarkov raid. Mr. Beast. <laughs> We're going to play hide and seek. And whoever wins gets my dad's car. <laughs> Mr. Beast. <laughs> Are thick women your type? Take the quiz now. I want to take the quiz. Let's take the I quiz. I feel like the that's, quiz. that's something you could answer without Dude, needing a quiz no, to tell I, you. I don't know. All right, all right. So you loot, you shoot, you kill rats, you say dumb shit, but, but what else is there to do? Well, there's quests. Quests are little missions that some of the traders will give you when you're going out in the world of Tarkov. Some of these are super simple, some not so much. They're divided up into three categories, kill quests, loot quests, and then fetch quests. Kill quests, super straightforward. Just go to the place and kill the people, maybe a certain gun or something, and that's it. And looting quests, straightforward as well. Just grab a certain number of items and then bring it back to the trader. Hello, comrade. I require three toilet papers to clean my fat Russian ass. All right, so kill quest, easy. Loot quest, easy. Now it's time to fetch. So fetch quest on paper sounds pretty easy. I don't know how you could fuck that up. Well, they did. See, when you click on a fetch quest, you're given this enormous wall of text that means absolute nonsense. And then they say, hey, go go grab these items for me. Yeah, no, this is how you actually do fetch quests. All right, I've got a quest from Skier. Uh-huh. Yeah, not going to read all that shit. I'm just going to... What's it called? But yeah, honestly, just look up a guide. Don't don't read that dumb shit. All right, and that's uh, all three kinds of quests in Tarkov. Looks like we're done with the. Hang hang on a second. What what the hell is that? Battlestate Games, in all their wisdom, decided that Tarkov was not hard enough, so they thought, hey, let's add this just dumbass into the game. I've done enough joking, I've done enough memeing, I'm just going to tell you how dumb his quests are in general. Alright, so uh, there is actually a quest for Jaeger, where you are expected to uh, kill players with a headshot while you have a broken arm. 
Yeah. And uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. He's fucking dumb. Anyway, let's uh, let's wrap this up. So, time to finally answer what this video is pretty much all about. Should you play Tarkov this white? And, yeah, I, I think you should. Well, Tarkov is a super obtuse game, and it has just a dummy steep learning curve. Um, you know, when everything works, the game is just so unique. You, there's really nothing else out there like it. Now, sure, you could continue to give your money to EA and Ubisoft and play the same goddamn game every year. Or, you know what? Hey, maybe take a chance on a strange little weird Russian game and, I don't know, do something different. And also, uh, everybody's really fucking good at this game, so it'd be nice to have some noobs to kill, not gonna lie. And that about wraps it up. So I guess the last thing to say is, uh, if you get killed and you see the name Hunky Stepbro pop up, uh, it's nothing personal. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know, I like to do this, so I made a, uh, a Twitch and a Twitter, and follow me there if you feel so inclined. I might, I might stream a game or two. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I appreciate your eyeballs. Thank you. Thank you very much.